well hello everybody and welcome to our channel the northern narrowboaters thank you very much if you're coming back or if you're a new subscriber or a new person here welcome i'm helen and alongside my partner tony we um, are touring the uk network on the canals well we're trying to anyway we're a bit stuck at the moment in in a marina and we just we just want to just bring a bit of fun to the canal space what can we say we're having a lovely time <laughs> brilliant you should try it sometime so what we're doing now is we we're actually going to put a video together or we have put a video together should i say for the about the marina that we're on we're in a in a marina in a marina and he put my teeth back in don't i we're in a marina um called fettler's wharf marina which is in rufford near ronskirk and it's lovely really really nice really really classy place i mean i fit in perfectly being ever so posh um <laughs> oh i make myself laugh all the time i just spend all my days just making myself laugh constantly so i forgot what i was saying now oh so we yeah we're just going to do a bit of a tour of our marina we can't go too in depth because obviously people live here and it's their home but we thought we'd just take you around and show you oh hold on a minute the train's going past that's one thing i mentioned in the video we have a train going past every 30 minutes it'll be gone it's only a little one it's dead tiny it's dead small and dumpy a bit like me <laughs> if i was a train that's what i'd be just like two carriage small chunky and, and a bit slow <laughs> oh here i go again making me amusing myself by the minute so anyway we thought we'd just show you around the marina show you a little part of it what you know the the things we can show you and we hope you like it um i've tried to be as sensible as possible which is really really hard work i find it really trying really testing but i managed it I managed it really well in there as well there's a little walk that we do around here um i show you a couple of cake places where we go to obviously standard it's really important to to life um and you and your your, your well-being to know where coffee and cake shops are but we also take you to um, a little walk around near Sam's Wood which is really really nice I, I don't actually go um, it is nice I have been but um, I don't actually go Tony goes there because I, I can't walk that far so he goes and he's, he's done a little walk around there to show you what it's like but it's it's really nice it's well worth a visit if you're up in this area so we hope you like the video and um, yeah we'll take you along with us <sighs> so exciting isn't it it's so exciting having a, having a youtube channel i think if you've not got one you should you should find whatever your passion is and make one and we'll support you we'll we'll be there right behind you just let us know what it is and we'll we'll be there so right let's see let's see what happens today then
so when you join the marina you get assigned a jetty and as you can see we unfortunately um, our jetty doesn't reach the end of our boat but if you go further up there they've got longer jetties so we ended up with a 50 foot one on a 57 foot boat but we're really grateful of anything because we didn't have them have a mooring and we as you know we were stuck <laughs> because we had a little bit too much to drink one day and came a little bit too far so we ended up here but we're dead we're dead grateful so you get your mooring this is the electric hookup Oops, sorry that's my coat you get an electric hook up there we've actually only put on um i think it's 40 pound in well, 30 pound actually in four three four months which is crazy so you get your mooring we've actually had to pull that back it's, it's actually in good condition but we pulled it back because bruce is slipping on it and he can't get off the boat we've got our new cracked cover finally i will tell you a story about this and um, when we bought the boat it should have been on however the broker we bought our boat off um, didn't give it to us it's a long story but we will tell you and it will be in another video where we warn you of the dangers of and what to look for in when you buy your boat because not everybody's what they seem to, to be so you get your own little section here as well to show you spin round so you get your own little moor in here we keep it really clean and tidy we don't have anything around it just the, the marina do tell you to keep it clean and tidy so we do that next doors is nice and tidy too so you can you get your box and you can put what you want and we've got coal and all kinds of crap in ours but we can try and keep it really tidy now that way the sheds parking there's all sorts up there greenhouses but i'm not going to take you up there because it is people's private homes and stuff i'm going to take you for a little walk down here off oh, just where i'm here i'll just show you you have your water hook up which is here so you can fill your water up there you are can you see the one with the blue sign and you can see how close it is to the boat which is just here but they've got them dotted everywhere so there's lots of different ones you can use so yeah that's the boring bit now opposite our mooring is this that is the railway unfortunately it does go across every 30 minutes but you don't hear it we don't hear it at all and um, you've also got these can you see these little bench benches there's a few of them and when you get told off when you've done things wrong you can go and sit on, sit on a motorway but they've got little brollies with them as well so you can sit out super cosy so i'm just gonna have a wander down here that's colin he won't mind me getting him on i don't think he's an absolute superstar along with chris and you email your things over and like you email your order so if you need diesel or you need coal or anything like that and they're like little magic men they're like little elves and then day after da -da, you've got everything you need people make the moorings quite nice as you can see it's a little area there where you can go over and that's a kids area and the kids can play over there there's a little stream so but people they set the moorings up really really nice and they have a little bit further down because the berths it goes a little bit bigger you must have slip here a little bit more for this because there's a lot of wide beams down here and then um, yeah have it all set up nice look with flowers and chairs and stuff oh dog poo bins we're very familiar with these with Tony and they ask you to keep your dogs on a lead now there you are that's from Kish Fallen Canal <laughs> I think I might have a word with them about that they might have put two together for me I'd never get it I'd never get in it never mind get out of it it did take them they'd have to get rescue me out of water and then they'd have to um, <laughs> and then they'd have to get fire fire engine for it, get me out to oop. I need one for each leg. So it's all a gated community, yet dead, dead secure, dead safe. You've got your boxes there with your parcels, which Colin and Chris and Anthony used to be here, put in. There's the office. 
there's our friends there can you see that boat's on us there the wide frontier i think their channel's called i'll put those on for you in a bit and somebody's just come through in the car but it is a gated community so it's completely secure and we also have a gate there as well which he's got a keypad on so you can't get in these are shut all the time so that's good we've got an eight mile an hour speed limit on here so people are not driving like lunatics um just respectful for, to everybody else then you've not got stones coming up and it's in your car there's dogs there's cats as well people have got as pets so just to keep it safe so here we've got the bins we've got grit but as you can see everything's immaculate here everything so i'll just take you in the car park you can see the gates are shut in there it's really secure everything's secure and i'm going to take you around here now this is how close we are to everything it's lovely there's tasty buds over there that i oh, taste buds that i always go on about just this friendly for anybody who's disabled as well it's got the ramps so this is where we do our washing we do it personally because we have a washing machine on the board but you've got pigeon holes where you get your mail they've got dvds videos you can watch you've got shower blocks i'm not gonna have a nausea because obviously it's people's private lives but yeah it's got washers dryers it's just a lovely place really nice place to be and through the window you've got tasty buds where i'm going to take you to now so how nice is that though to have dvds and videos that you can just look at it's immaculately clean in here as well so that is where we're going to go now as you can see all around the marina We've got disabled access as well which is really really important and due to have an operation soon so i will be back in a wheelchair for the fourth time third or fourth time so this is like the entrance of the marina but i'll come back and show you that after i'll take you around to tasty buds now loads of parking as you can see that's for taste buds but the fettler's wharf marina have absolutely loads of parking spaces there yeah so this is the other half of the marina as well which i am going to take you to in a minute in fact i might walk around there now show you where we go I'm trying not to be out of breath and I don't seem unhealthy when I am unhealthy so we don't really know many people this end because we're on the other end but I'll just show you these are nice people here in this white beam we've met those they've got a channel as well which we'll put up I've got a butt, I think it's called Sonus, I think that's how you say it. This is a butty here. Look at that. How nice is that? I'll give you the website link to that one so you can see. Look, really nice. It's all secure. I'll take you through here. This is where the El San is. It's all really well maintained, really clean. I'm very serious today, and in the gap, oh look there, you can hang your washing up there. It's for everybody, loads of room. Through there, that is St Mary's Marina. Where's my friend's boat? Woody and the Bandits, Debbie, I think she's the, she's not come out though, she don't know I'm here, so yeah look, a nice marina, it's so lovely, I'm going to go over to St Mary's in a minute, so here's your diesel and your pump out, gas and coal, it's all, got everything, you know, all the bullshit in the world, it's all on here, you know, all the hand sanitizer and all that, which is good for the marina to do that but yeah um got the diesel pump here so anybody can come in and get diesel it's all ready for you tomorrow up 
and I like this here me. This is my favourite place, this little spot. This is where I sit when I get told off. <laughs> Normally when I've broken something. Oh, you can see us there. I'll zoom in. There you are. Can you see us right in the middle of the screen? So this is where I sit when I've, when I've been a naughty girl and I've broken things or I've been a bit lippy or just if you want that peace and quiet. It's lovely, isn't it, eh? So just a nice little old ducks come here as well. Oh, here they are. I've not brought any food from. I'm a size 20, kids. You're not going to get out from me. I eat everything. So yeah, there's the diesel pump. Gas oil. That's where you empty your toilet. I won't go in there because the well, last time I did, I was sick because it splashed back and hit my top lip and um, I was sick as a dog so Tony doesn't let me do it now so yeah it's all kept nice everybody's got electric all clean you got to keep your your mooring really really tidy just for respect for everybody else and so you should as well you can't believe in all your crap out for everybody else see it's not fair um, and it ruins my videos <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's immaculate down there though. It's really, really nice and tidy and clean. And there you are. I've come up here out of the way in the dining area. I'm hiding because I've broken the toilet again. Now, <laughs> if you follow us on Instagram, you'll know that I've broken the toilet about two weeks ago. I broke the flaps. Well, I didn't break the flaps. <laughs> it weren't the flaps. It was the bit that sticks onto the flap. <laughs> it's getting worse, this, isn't it? It's the bit that sticks up into the flap, the lever, and I, and I snapped that off. But I went to bed and didn't tell Tony. And then when I got up in the morning, because he gets up before me, he found out and I got told off because I break everything. So he, he's fixed that and then I broke it again and now we can't get the Thetford cassette out of the toilet. We can't get it out at all. So it's been, I've come here hiding. I'm, I'm sat in the dining area, keeping out of the way, hiding. Oh heck. So this is where we sit now. This is where I sit when I get told off for doing, <laughs> for breaking everything on the boat. But it's really nice to feed the ducks here. I did feed them and get them on camera and then um, I made a right cock up. Oh no, this here, can you see that duck there? Watch it. It's really, really naughty. It's an Avspo duck. It's got a blood, I'm sure it's got a bloody tag on it. It's really naughty. It goes for every other duck and it's killed a few ducks on here. It's a little sod and I'll tell you about them, about the ducks in my, um, in my outro because yeah, they're not, they're not as friendly as they seem, these bloody mallards, little swines. <laughs> what a bell end. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for watching everybody. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh. <laughs> He's getting right on my paps. <laughs> It's such a lunatic. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. We've really um, enjoyed making this one. I just, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've, do you like my new mic? It's called a Dead Cat, apparently. And we were laughing because Tony said, oh, I've bought you something. Um, and he said that he bought me a mic. And I was really excited. And I thought it was this. <laughs> I thought, how big does he think my bloody camera is? And I, I thought it was that. Um, and then it's not, it's the duster. <laughs> it's not even um, for my mic. So I've got this now and it, it works miles better. So thanks for watching everybody. You know, we get loads of questions about Marina Live. We, we aren't, we're not new to boating. I know people think we're new to boating and we're not. We've had a boat before, about 11, 10 and a half, 11 years ago. And that was on the Lancaster Canal and we were up in the Moonsbridge Marina, which was really, really nice. It was a really nice. If you ever get a chance to go on the Lancaster Canal, you must go on. It's really good. We had lots of times. Not sure if we're banned off there, to be fair, because we was we were pretty loud, <laughs> if I remember rightly. It was we had some great times on there, like really 
party nights um just the two of us but it was really good so if you ever get a chance to go over there i'd strongly recommend it and we were in a marina over there which was really nice marina life isn't for everybody um, we we are consistent cruisers so we we do find marina life a little bit restrictive although we're on a, a beautiful marina with nice people you know um, we do we do feel like we want to get out but obviously we can't with the lock being shut so i'm thinking of me and tony are thinking of getting our overalls on and going giving them an hand <laughs> so you know I'll, I'll bit form and tell them what to do even though i don't know what i'm doing and tony can muck in <laughs> we can say so come on let's get them sorted i might go over actually because they've got loads of wood spur cut off some wood and i might be really cheeky and just go in like work my charm and say can i have <laughs> can i have your wood please um oh, that sounds a bit wrong doesn't it so can i have your cut offs <laughs> that would probably be better so thank you for watching everybody anyway we've we've loved chatting to lots of you you know we're meeting lots of new friends and it was become subscribers and it's really nice to get all your messages so please like subscribe and put a comment on the post you know let us know how we're getting on um nice comments by the way i just delete all the negative ones not that we've had any but if we do we just delete them <laughs> so keep it keep it nice and and, and keep supporting us we, we really appreciate that and it helps our channel grow well thank you very much for watching everybody we hope you've liked this one today next week's is going to be a belter we've put a list of all our questions together that we've been asked which we've not seen on other um canal videos and they're quite they're quite funny some of them so we're gonna just we're gonna give you some answers to what we found as as you know we're not we're not new boats as i say we've got 11 years experience but we've what we're new to narrow boats so we just thought we'd be able to share our ex um our expertise of what we know from the boat in life well thank you for, for everything so oh, here you go again need to put my teeth back in and um yeah i'm off for coffee and cake take care for now goodbye from the northern narrow boaters myself helen tony and captain bruce and as always forget me not bye Thank you.